Hi everybody. Well, I have had a bit of a busy morning, but I'm really pleased to announce that I figured out how to not only multi-stream from an Xbox to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, which you can also do from a PlayStation to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, but also add notifications and the chat from Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So what you can see here on the screen, let me make it bigger. So this is a, uh, a recording, a playback, if you like, of a live stream that I did from my Xbox Series S to YouTube. And this is the YouTube playback. And as you can see, in fact, if I turn the volume off and I just play it for a second so that the stuff disappears. On the left-hand side, you've got all the YouTube chat in fact, you can't see it's staying up. And on the right hand side, you've got all the Twitch chat. And as people were subscribing or following or becoming a member, the YouTube notifications would appear here and the Twitch notifications would here, appear here. So that's on YouTube. And then on Twitch, it was the same thing. You can probably, you can just about see it here, can't you? So again, on the left hand side, there's all the YouTube chat and there's a YouTube icon there. And on the right side, there's the Twitch chat and the Twitch icon there. And as people were were subbing or liking or subscribing, the notifications were on the right hand side for Twitch, on the left hand side for YouTube. So it gives you this all in one method of streaming to both channels at the same time. And everybody can see each other's chat. Um, you can see you can see the notifications. You don't need a PC with a capture card in the middle. I mean, you probably do want to have something like a laptop or a computer so that you can get everything set up to start off with. But you're not using expensive software. You're not using expensive cap capture cards. Um, the problem often is if you're trying trying to do so, this sort of thing with with OBS and capture cards, you end up with lots of lag and desync, and, and it can be quite expensive to do this way. Um, there is a cost involved but it's not that expensive. So the first thing I'd say is that if you simply want to stream from your Xbox to YouTube, <coughs> um, you can do that for free, all right, without any extra software. What you do is you use a service called Aircast. And what Aircast does is it takes the fact that you can stream to Twitch from your Xbox using the Twitch app, and it takes that stream and then fires it back to YouTube very high quality, completely free, um, and works very, very well. And in fact, I also recommend that you stream from your PlayStation to Twitch and use Aircast to come back because it then allows you to use you, the YouTube live um, control panel so you can control things like your thumbnails, um, categories, games, monetization, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's a really good way of controlling things better. So don't think you've got to pay to stream from your Xbox to Twitch. You can use Aircast and it's for free. But if you want to use this system where um, you're going to have all these bits popping up, what you've got to start using then is Lightstream. So what happens is in the Twitch app on the Xbox, um, when you go to broadcast, um, you'll see there's an option when it says source, you can, you can stream to Twitch or you can stream to Lightstream and it's a beta. Uh, in order to be able to stream to Lightstream, you do have to pay. Okay, so it's $16 a month for the 1080p 30 frames a second um, option, which is the one that you know, which is the one you'll probably want. Um, and what that then does is your Twitch stream then goes to Lightstream first, and then on Lightstream, what you do is you basically create um, overlays. Um, now. In the video, in the description below the video, I will put in tutorials that I've done previously that shows you how to add overlays to uh, your the light stream part. Um, and basically, it's a bit like a, a um, layers in a Photoshop document, or you can imagine a slide where you're adding elements to the slide. So the the, the bottom of the slide, the base of the slide, is your game source from your console, whether that be a PlayStation or a um, or, or, a, or an Xbox, that's the base, you, you know, the game footage and your audio. And then on top of that, you're adding things like the chat and the alerts and icons and your a picture of your face or, or, or picture of your icon, addresses, graphics, all that sort of stuff. And you, you add that to, to stream elements to make that. However, 
the clever bit if you like is uh, is the next service and the next service is a freer service called stream elements now stream elements is very powerful because you can log in either under if I, if I log out you can log in with your twitch account and you can log in with your YouTube account and whichever one you log in with that will then attach to either twitch or, or YouTube and stream elements is incredibly powerful let, let's um, let's log in and, and let me kind of show you what you can do so when you log in and and this is all free <laughs> you can um, at, you can look at their overlays gallery so all of these things here you can look at all these things um, let's have a look at some so you've got these overlays that you can add now these overlays here you can then import back into Lightstream and these overlays include things like um, notifications and, and um, graphics and animations for so-and-so has subscribed all these things that are popping off you can you can add all these in and the bit that I kind of figured out that you might have figured out already is the fact that if you log in with your Twitch account, the notifications for a particular overlay are attached to your Twitch account. And then if you log in with your YouTube account, those particular things are attached to your YouTube account. So what you then do is separately, and I, I explained this in the uh, tutorials, separately you bring in the URLs for those overlays, you put them onto your Lightstream uh, overlays, and that, that's the way you get the two different types of um, uh, chat and um, and alerts together. So on the left hand side here, is, when you've had to go with this, it all becomes really simple. So over here, so this is my Lightstream project. And so game source at the bottom, so that's the game source from my Xbox. There's my YouTube alerts and ch chat um, overlay. And there's my Twitch alerts and chat overlay, which are both from stream elements now the way to do it though is not actually I, I think the best way is not to actually use one of their specific ones but what you do is you go to your overlays and you create a new overlay you just create a blank one in fact let's go into this one so you can see so this is my twitch one here we go and all it is my twitch one is the twitch logo there um, and then if you hit plus you can add in an alert box which is that box there and that's the one that flashes up with with what happens when people subscribe or follow and all that sort of stuff and then I have stream tools which is your stream chat which is there and you've resized it and then you've got static or customer which is image where I've got a twitch logo and it there and that is it and then you save that you get the URL and then you put that into Lightstream. so if you imagine that is my twitch one in fact if we go back what I'll do let's just shut that down if I now if I log out of that and then log in via YouTube you'll see my YouTube one so here's my YouTube one and you'll see the same stuff but it's over on the left hand side so what we've got here is we've got YouTube logo I've added scale speedy gaming at the top of the middle so we've got the chat there on the left hand side and we've got the notifications but so if I here we go so if I do a subscriber see that's 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 how that happens now once you've done that you see what happens is when you go live from your PlayStation or your Xbox to Twitch now what I say about PlayStation is um, Lightstream have um, tutorials on how you do it on PlayStation it's a little bit more complicated you've got to change some settings in the PlayStation you don't use the PlayStation uh, broadcasts to Twitch feature you do it in a slightly different way but they do explain how to do it so when you go live from the from the Twitch app to to Lightstream from your from your Xbox the feed goes to Lightstream um, Lightstream adds the uh, overlays on top and it sucks in your stream elements feeds of which that there's what you've done one for YouTube and you've done from one for Twitch and then it feeds it to Twitch and that's how you end up with that and then Aircast 
takes your Twitch stream and feeds it back to YouTube, which is there, and that's how you end up with that. So that, my friends, is how you stream for an, from any Xbox or a PlayStation to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, and you can get the alerts from both and the chat from both up on the screen at the same time. And as I say, there is a cost. Um, you know, you are looking at about $16 a month if you want to go 1080p, 30 frames a second. But I think you'll probably agree, if, you, if you're very much into your streaming from your console, especially from an Xbox console, or, or I mean, it works from PlayStation just as well, this is quite an impressive thing to be able to do without having a powerful PC or a semi-powerful PC that's doing all the capturing and having to mess around with OBS. Because once you've got this set up, that's it. It's very, very simple. It, sound, it probably sounds a bit complicated to get started, but once you're in, um, it's not. The hardest thing, actually, for me, was go, was was adjusting the heights and widths of things like the, um, the chat boxes and changing the color of the text on the chat boxes so you could see it. Those sorts of silly things took, took longer than uh, actually kind of putting the different um, overlays together in stream elements and light stream. Whew, there we go. That was quite a long day to get that done, but I'm glad it's done. I hope it helps some people out. If it does, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. If you've got any questions, obviously put them down below, and I'll see you all again soon.